you know what it takes to be number one. At State Farm, so do we. There's so much you learn from just training so hard. If you put your mind and your effort and your energy into it, anything is possible. As a wrestler, Brent is one of the most successful guys on our team. I believe his record right now stands at 26 and five. Uh, even more impressively, he's had two wins against guys ranked in the top 10 nationally this year. So as a wrestler, he, he's very successful. He, he's been one of the most consistently successful wrestlers we've had in the last three years. He's an awesome coach. He uh, brings a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of uh, energy to the to the program. He's done a, a lot of great things, and and it's really easy to listen to him because he's. He knows what he's talking about. With Jones, he's not a very vocal kid. He's not a guy that's going to get in your face and yell and, and sort of run around the room and, ma and make a spectacle out of himself. Uh, so he's not a leader in that sense. He's a leader in what he does on the mat. He wins. Uh, he just flat out wins, and he usually wins big. He usually gets pins for us. Our team's going to be really good. So this year we've had some ups and downs. It's a lot of energy, but we're all wrestling real hard right now, and I think we've still come through in the end. And, it's not about the individuals, it's about the family. Brent is a phenomenal student. He's one of our best student athletes on our team as far as a guy who balances working out two and sometimes three times a day with also the rigors of the academic load here at University of Virginia. Um, and he's always successful. He's always has a 3.0 or better. He takes very challenging courses. I'm in the kinesiology program over in the Curry School and I'll get my undergrad in that, but I am also a fourth year undergrad, a first year grad student, and a five year master's program for exercise physiology. On top of that, in the community, he works at the hospital. And he works at the hospital, I believe he works with cardiac, um, cardiac care in the hospital and just absolutely loves his job there. So on top of everything he's doing with studying and with wrestling, his requirements for those two areas of his life, he's also giving back and doing that. What we do out there is we take patients that just got out of cardiac surgery or pulmonary surgery we make sure they exercise to get their health back up and make sure that their hearts and lungs are functioning well. And so we just put them through exercises and monitoring their EKGs and their level of exertion. It's an awesome atmosphere and um, the patients are great. I was very impressed with him because he's such a uh, outstanding looking young man and very quiet and uh, I got to talking around and I said, who is this kid? You know, he had his UVA shirt and the, the little guy works there. I said, gosh, he's a wrestler. And I said, Brent, you wrestle? He said, yeah. He said, I tried it for the Olympics. And I said, well, that's great. I said, I'll have to come and watch you wrestle sometime. I said, would you get me a wrestling schedule? He said, sure, I'd be glad to, you know. The first home match, I was warming up and then I'm on the side and I get a little tap on my shoulder. I turn around and it's Mr. Bickley. And he's like, I just want to let you know I'm here. And he brought some friends, and I was like, this, this is great. He had developed such a good relationship with his patients, that they came to support him at the matches, and then became fans of wrestling, which for wrestling is a big deal. We need more fans of the sport. So uh, it, was, it was really cool to see that. It's good balance if you can graduate here from the university with an undergrad and a master's in uh, the field that I am in and be a national champion.